<laughs> well, it's time to flip the script and have the show over to the Highlight Zone. Yeah, our camera crews are pairing up as we dive into week two of high school football. I'll stretch it Gary's out. Gary's getting all ready to go. Oh, yeah. We're talking famous duos this Friday, and we're hungry for more highlights. We got our milk and cookies. And our peanut butter. And our jelly. Now all you need to do is join the party. Stay tuned for the Highlight Zone! No one saves you more money during model year clearance than Ericsson Chevrolet Buick and Milan. The 2013s are already here. The 2012s have got to go. New Chevy Sonics, clearance priced from just $13,995. New Malibus, up to $6,000 off. New Silverados, $18,995 or $229 a month. New Equinox, from only $21,995 or $229 a month. Don't miss clearance 2012 at Ericsson Chevrolet Buick and Milan, where you're number one. It's here, American's huge Labor Day appliance and electronics sale. 10 to 30% off all refrigerators, ranges, washers, and dryers. Over 30 brands of appliances, 10 to 30% off. And up to 30% off every TV, LED smart and 3D TVs. The best selection of big TVs, 60 inches and larger, up to 30% off. Plus, up to 30% off all audio. You can even take 12 months to pay. The Labor Day sale at American. It doesn't get any better than this. Celebrate Labor Day with these great savings at Hy-Vee. Lay's potato chips, just $1.77. Candy cantaloupe, 99 cents each. Sara Lee honey wheat bread, only $1.48. Midwest Country Fair ice cream, four quarts for just $2.99. Hormel pork loin back ribs, only $1.99 a pound. And all Keebler Sunshine or Famous Amos cookies or crackers are 50% off. Get everything you need for your Labor Day celebration at Hy-Vee. Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus presents Fully Charged, an all-new surge of circus entertainment seen only at the greatest show on earth. Tickets start at $13, opens August 31st at iWireless Center. At Batteries Plus, you can buy three ultra-last compact fluorescent light bulb multi-packs and get one free. What you do with your old bulbs is up to you. Batteries Plus, the replace-it place. The Highlight Zone is brought to you by Ericsson Chevrolet Buick in Milan. And away we go, and here he is, our guest co-anchor for week two, Augustana football coach Rob Cushman. Thanks oh, for coach. being here, Coach. Oh, absolutely, my pleasure. Different type of adrenaline yeah, rush today. Yeah, a little tonight. different side <laughs> of the camera for me, so we'll see what happens. Oh, it's going to be a good time. Just have fun with <laughs> okay. it. Coach, if we mess up. Dubuque tomorrow. They're, absolutely. They're Are we going to make a run sleep. if we mess up? Season opener tomorrow night. Yep. On the road We've up got to run laps, do some push-ups if we mess up. It's coach will call us out. Let's do it. I forgot I forgot my whistle. Tonight is about the high school kids, though. We're going to start by diving right to the zone central visiting Bettendorf Bulldogs start barking right from the start Bubba Hernandez breaks through the central line for 29 hey, yards and a 7-0 Bulldog lead central begins to charge back Zach Minch Zach lights out oh, Minch oh, nice finds block. a block 15 yards great blocking Whoa. in front finally pushed out of bounds I like that coach right the Bulldogs Absolutely. begin to pile up huge yards Malik Hudson oh shaking and baking oh. Nicely done. Nearly gets Photog Kevin Core, who somehow stays on his feet. 24 yards Kevin's on that play. Athletic. So athletic. Incredible. And then the air attack. Kyle Cox finds Hudson on the 26 yard pitch and nice catch. Match. Bettendorf led by 14 in the fourth quarter. And we check out our board. This one has gone final. Bettendorf, a winner, 35 14. <laughs> Coach. Got to keep those chains moving. It's the Muskies trying to cage the Wildcats. Muskies up by 22, and John Crow, his fifth TD pass of the to Tyler Lloyd. The Muskies 37, excuse me, 36-7 in the second quarter. And then Quelan uh, Johnson there picks up 16 yards, and this is the this is the Muskies defense now. Muskies defense with a huge rush, and Zach Clemens with a sack oh. on third and long. Ooh. Oh, and the punt and block. And then the punt block is Clemens with the block and the touchdown recovery by Jonathan Centeno. Gotta love the special teams, Coach. Oh, what a play. Nice Huge job, piece Coach. of yeah. The no Muscatine, yes. 50 North 14. Oh. North Scott Lancers galloping north to try to 
their luck at unseen. The first place River Kings here. Clinton defense, though, makes a big stand. They recover the loose pigskin right there. Hello. River Kings begin to launch an air assault. Get ready for this one. Will Carr is going to find Hello. Dustin Codwell. He's back. He's running. He's looking. And boom, oh, 17 nice. yards threads the needle there. Clinton going to break into the lead, though. Codwell travels the final 12 yards on this one. But can he get it in? I think Squeezing so. through and blasted through that last one. Stand up, touchdown. Back and forth we go in this one tonight. Oh and my. there's the final. 48 38. Lancers pull game. this one out. All right, now to Burlington, and Burlington <laughs> races heck? north to face the Falcons, <laughs> and the Falcons are head. flying <laughs> high as Josh Tyson on his own dime dashes for 22 I'll yards. It. I'll keep it. Right I'll into Burlington it. real estate. Now, West takes the lead as DeAndres Overstreet crosses the street. Oh, he's crossing. Oh, oh he's crossing the he's street. He's crossing a lot more than the street. In fact, he's Boom. going all nice the way to pay dirt. Wow. And that's a three point lead. Oh. Now the Greyhounds race in front as Nick Pearson nice goes up top to Marquante Brown. That, I, oh, I don't know. And there he <laughs> goes. He makes a spectacular <clears throat> one handed touchdown grab. Possible top six on six next week. We'll have to wow. see how this Burlington pulls it off. What Whoa, a game. What a game. What a game. 13 to 12. All right, the Pioneers roll out to Orient Home and <laughs> begins finding pass to the end zone. Tom Knoll clears the path for seven point lead. Right there. Chargers. I got it. You got it. <laughs> Begin the charge. You got it. Is that yeah. me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're good. Dylan finds the seam. Passing lane. Oh, yeah. Prime Big real play. estate. And there we go for the Chargers. Outstanding. Here comes Elman and begin to move the change. John Chase, oh, uh, John Tracy finds Adam hit. Mendoza for 13 yards and a first down. And the Pioneers call on no tallies his second TD of the night. Blasted through. Outstanding. Oh my player. goodness, well, Elman. Huge. Improves huge win. to yeah. 2 0 there for the third straight year. Ouch. All right, let's check out the Rock Island Rocks trying to break through against Metamore. Rocks down 21-20 after a high-scoring first quarter. Derek Willies hauls it in from Zach Chapman and tiptoes along the line. I heard the circus is in town, right? That, that, oh, the I Wireless right. Center. Then here it is, Brandon Richardson, man with a plan, stays on his feet and busts into the end zone in the second quarter for the touchdown. Rocks jump back in front, 27-21. But a seesaw battle, Metamore comes right back. Quarterback Brendan Notreeb on fourth boy. and goal from the 10. He's in. He had 105 rushing yards before halftime. This is a great ball game. On the kickoff, Richardson, he's going to put the special in special teams. Here he is. Oh, Starts on one side of the field. Whoop, hesitates. Gets Whoop. a couple blockers. Oh, wow. He's still on his feet. Look at him go. Whoop. Still in bounds. <laughs> More tiptoeing. Oh, nice. oh, 40 yards. They called him back early. He almost busted it to the house. Oh, but wow. last we checked, this game still in progress. Rock Island has game. jumped in front 42 to 35. All right, the mighty men from Dunbar visit historic Browning Field to take on Moline, and Moline doubles up the fun as Mark Ashcraft, finding downfield blocking, sprints through the Dunbar defense go, for a 43-yard touchdown, and that knots the game. Moline's special teams are very special as Cooper St. Amour picking up blockers. Oh. They actually form a wall for this guy they on sure a 56-yard odyssey deep into Dunbar real estate. The big guys with them running. all the way down. Get out of my way. Wow. <laughs> Get, Get that down. guy some oxygen. All right, Moline on call. Uh, Jared Requette for his second touchdown of the year. He's nice. in the zone, too. He's a good one, too. And how about this score? 33 to 12. Moline gets their first win of the year. Big win. In other action, Galesburg gets the 24 21 victory at Morton. And UT was up by a uh, big margin earlier, but LP now in front by 20 in the fourth. Hi, this is zone intern Max Hess at the Rock Ridge Sherrard game. Batman and Robin have been fighting crime for decades, but when Robin goes on vacation, who takes his place? That's right, zone producer Brian Stocking. It's Stocking and Batman. He fights crime with a stockpile of sports scores by launching statistics out of his briefcases. We're glad he's on our side. Stay tuned for the second half of the Highlight Zone. <laughs> Hi, this is Zone Intern Maria Adolphs here at the Keokuk Mediapolis game. In high school, Gary said his play mimicked Montana to Rice. But we know better. It was more like Abbott and Costello. Thanks. Do you guys know who any of those people are, including the athletes? I don't think so. <laughs> Who's on first here? Hey, second-ranked Bulldogs looking for a 
2 0 start against the Kilcock Chiefs, led by James Vandenberg's younger brother, Gabe. Bulldogs go to the air. Jesse Ertz finds Drew Buster to move the change here. Oh, look at the sunset. Bulldogs oh, keep calling on Ertz. He runs the keeper to perfection here, breaking away from the Chiefs secondary on a 46 yard touchdown gallop. Get the oxygen, please. There's dogs. They're going to the dogs. Minneapolis there tonight. pulling away in this one. Third down, Ertz with the perfect Ooh. connection. Dalton Scott in the zone. Great Scott on that play. Minneapolis 40 to nothing at halftime. Ooh. And it looks oh. like they're in the driver's seat and that one gonna improve to yeah, 2 so. Also, West Branch Big Notre Dame. <laughs> it's no just shut out as well. Yeah. Let's check out West Branch and Durant. Football players, Durant High School have not been alive to see a win over a West Branch. Could they break through tonight? I think I don't they're know. talking. They're I don't very know. curious what they're talking about. Perfectly drawn up highlights. Oh, we got some oh, perfectly drawn go. up highlights. Oh, they're perfectly drawn up, Coach. That's great, That's Coach. Right. Yeah, that was, well, the yeah, defenses. Well defenses rule tonight as West Branch's Bo Bauer knifes through the line and delivers the big hit for no gain. Then the Wildcats gamble. Fourth down. Oh. Cade Jones makes them pay. Hunts down that quarterback for the sack. And then later in this one, Durant going for broke again on fourth down. This time airing it up. Nice D nice. again. Bauer. Oh Ruins their plans, bats away that baby. Then the Bears looking for the lead, but Levi Novinsky oh, pops oh. the ball loose. Oh, oh it's still out there. Devil. Get it, I coach. Got it. Don't Come got on, it. Sharon. I'm not sure who's got it. I, I think Brett Lilienthal oh, covers the pigskin. Oh, he's got it. Gotta want that. Zach. We've got, got the player. score too. <laughs> 28 to 20, West Branch in a thriller, and Mount Vernon taking down West Liberty 28 to 7. Louisa Muscatine trying to fly to 2 0 start. Wilton begins to try to upset that. Coy Snyder slashes his way to prime Falcon territory with a 19 yard run. Woo. Yeah. They cheer you on, coach. There go the Beavers. They call on Tyler Hetzler, who piles it in from the one yard line. And there was much rejoicing. And much, much rejoicing. rejoicing. <laughs> Falcons defense brings the heat on Harold O'Brien. Oh. Brandon Bierry yeah, played so meet the quarterback. That was a good idea. Always, a good, always well. a good thing. Wilton begins to stockpile a touchdown. Hetzler hooks up with Logan May on an 18-yard touchdown toss, and they're looking good. Looking very good. Wilton. May I have another touchdown? I think Wilton he was thinking. Big over Louisiana. 53 to 12, Wilton. How about that one? All right, is this Sterling and Chicago Curie? I oh, think yes, so. It is. It's the Golden Warriors playing in their first game in their beautiful new field. You saw the skydivers there. Mm. Sterling simply Sterling as Tanner Morris finds Logan Rippy. 22 yards deep into Almost Curie Real there. Estate. Let now the Golden Warriors find gold as Drake Penafor oh. higher. He goes in. Made his own two hole. right there. Now the Condors file the wrong flight path. Logan Wharf gets the feet down. Right there. Oh, oh for Drake. the interception. Yep. Now deep in Condor territory, Morse dials his own number and zigzags his way on a 12 yard journey all the way into the house. He's just right through. Beautiful new field, and Sterling was in front by seven last we checked in the third quarter. Also, Rock Falls gets the victory 20 to three. Hi, this is Zone Intern Emily Renwick at the Chicago Ravy Geneseo game. We all know that Mario and Luigi are the Super Mario Brothers, but here at TV6, Greg and Jeff Armstrong are the Super Photographer Brothers. The debate rages on who's the better shooter. We'll be the judge. Roll those highlights. And by the way, that's not a cartoon. Those were the actual guys here posing. <laughs> Green Machine taking on Chicago Ray B on the opening kickoff. Machines rolling. Ryan Pitra scoops up the Raiders miscue. Leafs turn that into some touchdowns. Mitchell Miller coming right into your living room. Wash your feet off before you come into my house. Get, uh, Geneseo flipping the field for position here. Check this out as Ray Singbush races past the Raider line. Yeah, let's get 10, 15, 20, oh, maybe 50 yards. 27 yards oh. on this one. Make sure you get a picture of that. Geneseo's yeah. ground game as to the ledger. Grant Burris rolling right into the house. Another guy with his shoes on in the house. And in the fourth quarter, the Leafs are still in front. I know. And too. Dixon unfortunately falls at Rochelle. All right, let's check this baby out. Rock Ridge taking on Sherrard, the longtime rivals. Another chapter in their storied rivalry. Second quarter, Tigers clawing out of the big hole on fourth down. Clayton. Viewstorm, I believe is how you say it, connects to Shaz Bainey, keeps that drive alive. Then Viewstorm hurls it to Jake Kistner for the 10-yard TD toss. 
to close things within 31 7. But the Rockets were in front. They blast off the final minute of the half. Oh, look at the Dalton speed. McManus. Look at the, look at the wow. kick. Gone in less than 60 seconds. 75 S yards to the house. 75 yards. Huge. Oxygen. Still running, I think. Third quarter, the Rockets defense making plays. McManus works the tip drill to perfection. And that ends the Sharon oh, drive. They're going the other way. Rockets, another big victory, 58 to 7. Wow. And Monmouth wow. Roseville, a winner as good. well, 24 yeah, to 20. Good. All right, Coach, you're All up. All right, Riverdale travels up Route 84 to face Fulton. And there go the Steamers. Rushing attack, Austin Mannion runs for 22 yards to set up the Falcon offense. The Steamers call on quarterback Ethan Jones, who scores his third rushing touchdown of the season. This one, oh, a 21-yard run. Oh, oh, nice cut. Wait, stay great on your cut, feet. great move. Nice photography, Top too, six on There six you go. Maybe, the possibly. Uh, Fulton, I think so. I think Fulton continues to find wide holes in the Rams' rushing defense. Manning with blockers in front of him and a 15-yard oh. touchdown run. He's in. For six more points. Go Steamers. That's what it said. Rams for the Fulton drive as Terry White oh. steps into the oh. passing lane, picks it off, and... They're, yeah, they're, they're back in business. They're back, back in, business. in business. Fulton, 24-20 over Riverdale. And also Kiwani falls at Bureau Valley as BV gets the victory 24-8. Another action in the fourth, EP trying to make a comeback down by 11. Spartans and Titans trying to do their best Augie Vikings there impersonation. Yeah. Beautiful Erickson Field. Letting them borrow it for one night, That's right, right, Coach? Yeah, absolutely. Well, this is Tony Grip finding Andrew Drominski buys a little time, and it's almost like a screen they didn't exactly call originally, but hey, it's all right, we'll take it. It was a hot night out there, but... On the other end, look at the Spartans going to the air. Ricky McCreary lobs it over oh, the D. Beautiful catch by Jacob Peterson. That's good for a first down. I hear the circus is in town. It's still in town for a few that, days, I think. That's the theme, yes. A couple, couple days. Then it's Tony Grip wide open to Keegan Jacobson. 12-0 Titans at that chair. point <laughs> yeah, in the first boys. half. And Mikem Smith scores not once but twice in the first half. It was 19-0 Titans at halftime. And then how about this A&W, the final score. 40 to That's six. A root beer, They're undefeated it? on the new field, right, Coach? Field. Undefeated. Yeah, yeah. And Mercer County also a big winner tonight at West Central. All right, it's a pair of counties clashing in Oneida. Stark versus Mid, and Stark starts out in the opening kickoff. Danny Burkhold picks up his blocks, and he speeds all oh, the way to midfield. Right. But the opening drive stalls, and the Cougars' Reese Hawksworth sniffs out the option pitch, and he gets a tackle for a loss right there. But the Rebels would not be denied. Colton Senders gets the call, and guess what he's going to do? I think he's Send it in right Jerome. into the house. Yes, he did for the touchdown. Rebels looking to build on the lead, and they go deep to corner, but the Cougars, Nelson England, cuts them off at the pass. Now check out the scoreboard. Stark County up 40 to nothing now a final, and Monmouth United also a big victory at home. Hey, Knoxville opening up its brand new football and track facility. Look Ooh. how nice that is. Second quarter action, Wildcats looking to convert on a fourth down. Oh. Drew Clay tracks the receiver down, stops him just shy of the sticks on that one. Knoxville begins to roll through the sprinklers as Blake Sprinkles breaks it off tackle, sloshes this down for a big first down. Blue, blue bullets firing to Grant like Larson. Let's fake the handoff, call its own number, makes the move, oh, wow. and guess where he ends up? Oh, nice Right effort. there, touchdown. In Knoxville, looks like the fans are gonna be happy. That's right, they're looking sharp in there. Probably the victory in their first time playing that field, 26 to nothing, right before it goes final. And Galena also winner, 27 nothing at home as well. And a couple other scores still coming in, still in progress. DeWitt, Makokata was leading earlier in this one, and also uh, Wapala was up 22 nothing over Columbus. And Danville, I know, falls at Cardinal, unfortunately. So, the coach uh, didn't throw his challenge flag. Well, hey, my pleasure. This was, this was fun. Good, good. And, uh, Maybe if things don't work out, I might have a future. So I think so. Oh, I, I think we I should need, applaud him. Nice yes. job. That's a fever. <laughs> good job, coach. Woo! And I uh, hope you had a great night. We'll see you next week. Have a safe weekend. Okay.